What was what was the last dream you had? Like scary dream that you had with that, that after you woke up, you were really still kind of frazzled. I dream my mom got eaten by a shark. Was she in the ocean? Uh, I forget. Or did the shark come to you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forget. All I remember was my mom got eaten by a shark, and it really fucked <laughs> me up for a day. I think I've told this story before, but I once, when I was like twelve, I had a dream. I had a dream. I had a dream that a Sasquatch was outside my house, like on the gr- on the on the floor, and I was up in the second story window looking down, and it pointed up at me and it, it like looked at me and it went, and it like ran <laughs> and it started running and I knew it was running towards the front door, which I knew was unlocked in my dream, and the fear in my heart racing when I woke up was terrifying. It left it gave me PTSD. That a bigfoot was about to attack your whole family. That a bigfoot was running to, running to my door and I was upstairs on the second oh. floor and it was down. It was oh, I see. It was like a race it? to whoever could. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever had a nightmare where there's like a giant lifting the roof off your house? No. <laughs> it's a really scary f- dream. I used to have a recurring dream about this thing that looked like Nemesis but wasn't quite Nemesis from Resident Evil. It was this weird like freaky corpse, like giant buff dude that would just like stand outside my house and looking at me. <laughs> it was the scariest <laughs> dreams ever. I, I had know, these dreams all- He would intimidate you like the mafia. He would just stand outside your house and look up. He would run up to the window, but it, it would be <laughs> silent. It was this, it was such a scary <laughs> thing. It was kind of like a mix between Nemesis and the guy from Medieval. It's like him mixed together exactly. That is scary. No, that's like my Bigfoot dream. He like- Medieval's big... like that like skeleton yeah, dude his with face. eyeballs, right? Yeah. yeah. How many times did you- did you dream about that? I movie? had a dream about that f- like probably ten times when I was like ages like eight through twelve. What's this? That's oh, scary. it's a little spider home. It was because my uncle showed showed me Resident Evil two, and there was a similar looking guy in it. Your brain just that must have been that you got scared enough that your brain formed a, like a piece of it around. Yeah, my, my uncle would bring me into his room and like let me play Crash Bandicoot, and then he'd be like. Do you want to watch me play Resident Evil 2? And I was like, yeah. And then he got to the part where uh, there's just the guy with an eyeball on his shoulder. And he's like, is this too scary? And I was like, yeah. And it turned it off. <laughs> he, he actually turned it off? Yeah. Your uncle Aww. sounds really nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, the worst part about those dreams was, in my dreams, I'd be like, Mom, Dad, it's back! And he'd be like, Chris, go to bed. We're, like, you're making so, it up again. So in the I dream, in the dream, the this thing would go, go to the direction. window and like, just stare at it you? It would run up to the window and just look in, like, really intense. <laughs> was, oh my god. I'd be so fucking terrified. And you tell your parents and they would say, we don't believe you? Yeah, pretty much. Just go to bed. Like, we're sick of you annoying us. Go back to bed. That brings up a question. I want to see, what's what your guys' scariest sleep paralysis moment? Like, do you remember? Dude, my one was fucking really bad. It was kind of recent. I was like laying down, and there was a chair next to where I was sleeping, uh, with a hoodie hung over it. And my eyes, my eyes were like open, and I was—I knew it was a hoodie hanging over a chair, but I was like, it kind of in the shape of a hand. And then I was like, that is a hand. And then it, I was like, okay, that is a hundred percent a human hand. <laughs> and then it went on. It just kept like coming towards me, and then it was oh. just some guy, and he was like, "Hello, <laughs> I want to play with you." And I was like, ah! but I couldn't say anything. I was like. Ah! Oh shit! And I shat Fuck. myself. Do you remember any of your childhood nightmares? Yeah. What was the scariest one that you had? Ooh, I, I oh you go. Oh sorry. Okay. Um, this actually happened. It was um, I had a dream that there was a knight just chasing me down a hallway. A knight. A knight. See so that like a medieval knight. Right. And he would he was chasing me. I was cornered into a room, and he said something bad will happen when I snap my fingers. He snapped my he snapped his fingers. I woke up. A water pipe burst in my house. What? It freaked the fuck out of me when I was a kid. Oh. That's awesome. I love that shit. But sorry. Go ahead, Chris. Um, I had a recurring dream. I've had two recurring dreams growing up where one of them is I'm walking around the same house and I can remember the entire layout and it's fucking scary as hell. Nothing bad ever really happened though. It was just really scary and scary noises happened. But the other recurring dream was that I used to dream that I, I sit in the front seat of my mom and dad's car and I'd started driving for no reason. I couldn't stop the car. And that was really scary. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, the scare, the actual scariest imagery. I dreamt actually, I dreamt that there was a you know Darth Maul. Yeah. I dreamt he was riding a huge like kind of a combine harvester down an Irish lane, and I was running away from him. What? Yeah. <laughs> Just like big blades slicing. That was the scariest dream you had. That was pretty scary. That, actually, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be fucking terrified. Of it. And he was just following you everywhere. He was sitting on this big combine harvester, just driving down like a, a, you know, you no know one fucking Wexford when you're driving down. And there's like trees on either side, and there's fields on either side of the trees, and you're just on these narrow ass roads. Yeah. He was driving down them, and there's big ditches on each side, so you can't exactly escape. You still run down the road. <laughs> but um, Damn. and my last dream I remember was uh, a zombie fucking decapitating my family. What? Yeah, was Do fucking... you have to see them all decapitated? 
Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, That's it was after up. he had done it. It's really fucked up. I mean, it was kind of cool, though. <laughs> my one, there was like a million clones of my dad, and they were all bad except for one of them, and I didn't know which one. <laughs> and I was like... It was so scary when you're a kid because I was like, oh, I know. like I didn't. There's no way out because they were all fake dads that wanted to kill me. Actually, I did have a dream where my dad was in his warehouse and a bunch of rats just stampeded over him. I ran over him like, <laughs> Dad, are you okay? And he's like, I've got the plague. <laughs> the plague. That would do it. Oh, I did have something like that. I had my, I had a dream my mom was replaced by a cyborg and everyone took it for a fact except for me because I was like, she's metal, she's gray. <laughs> and then my mom was like in a hood right outside the house staring at us. I was like, Mom! And every time I went to her, she like oh. just, I woke up. Oh my God. Oh, I did actually have one more, I remember. I used what? to dream that I had gimp arms. Like little baby <laughs> gimp arms that couldn't hold anything. <laughs> That'd be fun. Like I'm a normal kid with little baby, like <laughs> mangled arms. Dude, just like little hands coming out of your fucking torso. I couldn't pick up shit. Like my mom would walk over, and be like, "Here's oh, your no. dinner," and I just drop it on the ground. Oh man! <laughs> and was everyone laughing at you? No, people felt bad for me. Oh god, that's the worst. You can't even like scratch your back. Chris. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh, tell tell me the the last thing you dreamt about. Okay, there we go. I dreamt I was in a store, there was a big... Dinosaur. No, it was a big Asian guy, like, and he wasn't because A big it was, guy, huh? It wasn't because of Big Chang, it was before that. <laughs> a big guy, like, he was giant, or like, no, he was... Fat. He was fat, okay. No one knows who Big Chang is yet. He was a big, fat Asian man, or Asian kid, and he was like, he's working at the cashier, and everyone was making fun of him. <laughs> that's all I remember. <laughs> I dreamt last night that, uh, There we go, that's what it is. I dreamt last night that Family Guy... Seth MacFarlane wanted the show to just end already. Yeah. And uh, the second to last episode of the season, it was just Peter Griffin. He's he doesn't look like Peter Griffin anymore. He spiked his hair up and he was wearing a trench coat. <laughs> and he just went into a mall and he started shooting everybody for 20 minutes. That was the whole episode. <laughs> and then the episode after that, it was like a creepy pasta and it was just a close up of his face with his eyes bleeding and he was screaming. <laughs> and it was just that for 20 straight minutes. And I remember I was having a conversation with somebody, and they said like, "Family Guy could be funny sometimes." I said, "Did you see the Did you see the last episode of it?" And we watched it together, and they're just like, "Is this Is this it?" No one was scared by it. Everyone was just really bored with it. <laughs> well, yeah. Why would you be scared by it? Because he was screaming. Yeah. So it's very spooky. Because it, it, it's very abrupt when it first starts, and then it goes for twenty minutes. Like any I'll tell you about the dream I fucking had last night. Where the monkey bit you? Yeah, I dreamt that fucking Jeff, John Utah, bought a monkey and he had it in the car. Oh, I already told you about yeah, that. Yeah, well, d keep saying, because we're- yeah. you're telling the audience now. Okay, so, dream Jeff has a pet monkey. <laughs> dream Jeff. He has a pet monkey in a car, and I start slapping on the window to annoy the monkey. The monkey gets out instantly, he starts biting me on my hand, and I start running through a suburb, and he keeps biting it. And then I woke up, and I came over here. Wow. It was a great day. Chris! What is it? Now that you brought it up, just tell me, how would you react? How would you react if you woke up in bed, like, at errands and everything, where you're actually staying, yeah. and, but you woke up in the middle of the night and you saw your dad standing in the doorway? With splinters in him? No. <laughs> My dad? Chris, just the case the splinter And man. then you went, Dad? And then he left, and oh. you got him. <laughs> no, no, he goes, he goes, I would, I would assume that he, like, he followed me. And I'd be really, really fucking weirded out. He goes, Chris. But you couldn't find him after. I've come like, all the you, way from Ireland. I need help getting the splinters out. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I would just uh, assume it was a hallucination. Because did I tell you about the hallucination I had like two weeks yeah, ago? Yeah, you told me about it. Did you? I don't remember. I, that. I went to bed and and like I never ever ever sleep on my back because every time I do, I have a hallucination. Really? And so that's a good way to get sleep paralysis. Yeah, and, that's and, interesting. And so that this one time, I was like, well, it's been like fucking three years since I tried napping on my back. Maybe I'll try it. I fucking sit on my back for like ten minutes and then. I, like, I'm in another world, I just- I, I, I'm hallucinating, but I'm still awake, and I know I'm still awake. And then I, I just get this, like, fucking clear vision of, like, this cockroach and a spider just, like, crawling on each other. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, okay, no, wake up, and I just woke <laughs> up, and I was like, okay, I'm not doing that again. That's uh, really interesting. It, it, it was like, it was bright as day in front of my eyes, just a spider and like, this weird cockroach hybrid thing. Interesting. I hated it. I hate them both! I hate cockroaches and spiders! I had a really weird, uh, horrifying dream last night. <laughs> <laughs> what did you dream? I dreamt that a part of my penis fell off, and whenever I tried telling people that it happened, they just kind of said, Oh, that's natural. <laughs> and every time I tried bringing it up, I was like holding this like little... 
It, it, it wasn't like it was bloody or anything, it was almost as if a piece of my penis fell off, but it had healed, so it was like a little ball of flesh now. But I was like holding it, and I was like, I need to reattach this, my dick looks weird, and everyone was like, No, it's fine, this is like a part of every- like, it just happens to some people. Like, I, I don't want a, a deformed dick, and everyone was like, it's fine. I was like, what? No, it's not. How recently did you have this dream, Chris? Like, last night. Oh my god. Man. That was what woke me up from the dream last night. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot you started. Uh, no, I, started I think I, I was like either choking or I was like in a constrictive space where I couldn't move or I was drowning or something. Was your penis and then, you? and then you woke up and Aaron was. <laughs> Aaron was choking. <laughs> yeah, he was. He had a pillow on me. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron wouldn't kill me. I used to have this recurring nightmare where the heavy oh, would hold me it. down and pull my ass open and <laughs> spit into it. <laughs> so you are- you have been into that! No, I said oh. I had a nightmare. Oh. That- that wasn't real. But, it should have been. Have you ever had a nightmare that gave you a boner? <laughs> um, yeah. You were really frightened, but at the same time you're like, ooh. Yeah. What- what happened? I'm not gonna say, cause people are gonna play psychiatrists and start shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people on the internet it's are. It's true. Chris, do you want to hear about my gross, depressing dream? Yeah. I had a dream that I was in- that was- I have a lot of dreams about being back in school, so I had a dream that I was in science class. Yeah. And that I kept barfing up mice. Oh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Like little hairless baby mice. Yeah. And my- my science assignment was that I was supposed to take care of them, but I was really upset because they weren't moving and I thought they were probably dead. And so I just had a big bowl of not moving Gross hairless mice. That's really disgusting. It was really upsetting. Chris, are you sure you're not living a waking nightmare? No. Nah. But yeah, no, that did hit you like oh, twice. Oh, you know in what? One, you know, I, yeah. I, have a, I have an interesting story. I've said before, but I like sometimes I wake up and I'll uh, like hallucinate something. Yeah. Like as I wake up. And last night I uh -oh. fucking I woke up. Uh, Great. You woke up the beast, Zach. You <laughs> no, woke up woke the beast it, no, no. when you challenged I've me. I've never, I've never, whenever I have those, I've never woken up and like... Sometimes, you know, I'll wake up and I'll see like a little robot or something, or like a weird little thing. But it's, it's always inanimate. But last night I woke up to a fucking, like, a thing that I woke up talking, I was talking when I woke up. And it was asking me a question, it was like a big fucking scary robot thing. <laughs> and I was talking to it, it was asking me a question, I remember waking up and going, no, no, I'm not gonna do that. And then it went away, but I, I yelled. Have it you was, ever, like... It was fucking horrible and haunting, and I couldn't get back to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking... That is pretty bad. Imagine waking up talking to something you're actually seeing, that vanishes after you're done talking to it. <laughs> that's what I fucking experienced at, like, 3 a.m. yesterday. You, you, that happens to you all the time. I, it's always been an anime, though. It's always like, I wake up and I'll see something. Or, is, oh, or, or so wake, it was or a robot? Yeah, it was like a thing with a machine gun. I don't know, it was like a, it was like a face, scary face right in my face. And it had like a big machine gun on it. It was fucking weird. I can't Zach, describe it. You're slipping away from this reality and into the Final Fantasy I, world. No, no. I could see if you're a spiritual person, if that could happen, if you wake up talking to something that disappears, I could see you go, it's from a different plane of existence, man. But in my head, it was just me fucking uh, having a horrible, evil fucking <laughs> thing happen to my brain. Zach, do you remember that dream I had where it was like a bunch of statue faces burying people? Because cockroaches were coming. Oh yeah, there was. It was like a graveyard. It was like a big. Uh, I always thought you should animate that dream. I, I kind of. It, it was like a grasshopper, like a uh, 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 groundskeeper or something. It was a fucking. It was, was it, something. But is that the one? There was all these statues with like crab claws on, like four crab claws. They were like kind of. What, what do you call them? Totem. Totem poles with crab claws. Four crab claws at the bottom, walking around, dragging bags. <laughs> Of dead giant cockroaches. The only thing I remember was that. And yeah, I was remember you told me that the, that the that the, uh, the the groundskeeper, like the guy guarding it, was like a dead. Well, oh, I thought I thought the I thought they were carrying dead human bodies, but there was like a. Oh, cock... was it? I forget. It was fucking scary. I, I think a, I, I think I think in the dream you saw them grab carrying bags <laughs> and you followed them. And yeah. you saw that they were carrying but dead what bodies. If, the, th the fucking groundskeeper's just like, get out, they're coming. <laughs> and then I woke up and it was the scariest. It'd be a great little VR experience right there. I would fucking kill myself if that, <laughs> if that was real. <laughs> oh, fuck. They're Don't die again. They're nearly here, you have to leave. I used to have nightmares about that guy with the hucks for hands. Oh, yeah, he's terrifying. What are you doing, your nightmares? He was like, run at me with the hucks. Oh, first. God. This, right this is the one where you have to time the rotating barrels. <laughs> he, he'd stop right before he gets to me, then walk back slowly, looking back at me. Yeah, yeah, like, mm. just look back every two seconds. And then he just turn around really fast, run back. <laughs> <laughs> just keep doing that over and over. I would love to see that in a film, like a horror film. Just a bad guy doing that for like two minutes straight. Yeah. 
<laughs> have you ever had like a nightmare, or have you ever heard people describe nightmares where they're like, I had a dream for like 12 hours of my entire sleep, and it just was the same thing? No, I, th that's happened to me a few times. Can you imagine if that, the hook guy, was your dream that for like fucking, fucking suck. eight hours? Oh, I had boy. a re- you know, I remember when I was younger, I used to have really long, oh, no, like, oh fucking <laughs> hour-long dreams where I could remember every detail. And then you wake up and you're like, that fucking exhausts me just to even think about what. Have what you ever had a dream that traumatized you? Like, actually fucked. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not kidding. That's like, like half the dreams I have where I'm. <laughs> there, there, I feel I, like my I, life I mean, is ruined by, by like, the end of most of my dreams. And, dude. And, <laughs> and the relief I'm supposed to get from waking up is not enough to counteract how yeah. crappy I feel from I think the, the dream. I think the worst dream I've ever had in my life was like six or seven months ago, and it's the most realistic dream I've ever had. Mm. Wasn't funny, wasn't like, oh, and then I woke up and I was at a Walmart, and then I teleported to my high school. It was like, it was, uh, I got cancer in the dream, mm. and it played out fucking, it, it, not like it was a dream at all. <laughs> and I knew I, and I, it was fucking, but I woke up, it, the whole dream was like half my night. And I woke up and I felt weird for like two days after that. Yeah. Because it was so real. I was, like, I was like, oh my god. Like I was saying goodbye to my family in the dream. It actually traumatized me. It, it was, it was, it changed my brain chemistry. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I usually have fun, silly dreams where I'm like, oh, I, I can't find my classroom in high school. And then I had a hyper. <laughs> those, those dreams you're talking about, those aren't fun. Like to me, those are the most stressful dreams. Yeah. I mean, uh, but no, but you really, when you wake up, that dream that I'm talking about, I woke yeah. up and I was still, I was For maybe sure. more stressed out. I was like, oh my god. I kept having this recurring dream where I was in this big house, and I like I can remember the layout of the house perfectly to this day. I've had those before. Because I kept having that dream, but in the dream, the house is just so fucking scary and evil. I had a recurring dream that lasted about like a week or two, like not too long ago. Oh yeah, you told me about that. You were like, what you were was like... it again? Oh, it was when I had I had bought uh like this, <laughs> like I had gotten sick of the the oh. property stuff, so I bought like a a cabin out in the woods yeah, as, yeah. as an office. Yeah. And then I returned to the cabin in a different dream. Oh, and, oh, oh fuck. Oh my god. I okay, returned to the go, cabin in a different dream, and th it was full of all these, like, homeless people oh squatting. Dude, I still have high school dreams where I came from my classroom, or what, do I, what I have yeah. is I'll be, like, in, in my bed that I lived with, uh, when I lived with my parents when I was in high school, and I'll be, I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh yeah, even though you're fucking... In your your mid twenties, you still have to go back and oh, finish. Oh, he does have an yeah, attack. No, I have those oh. all the oh, fucking I'm time. Dumb. Do you uh, have the one more where you're a, where you're actually a young guy or you're your no, age you're now? No, you're adult. Yeah. Yeah, I have those like, like I I, I think I'm I an have adult, those... but I for some reason re-enrolled in like college. No, I think, I think but then it, I forgot to show up for, and like I have an exam. Mine or is something. almost verbatim the exact same every it's, time. It's always it's always oh you forgot to do one class. Yeah. No. Yeah. You forgot to do one. You forgot you had a class. No, and no, you've no, been not, missing no, it all that. year. Oh. Not even that. Basically, some a lot of the time the dream is even um, is even so, sometimes the dream is is either I'm stressed out because uh, I forgot. I'm like, oh, you have to go back. You missed like oh, a, you, he, oh. you missed like a whole week or or the other one I get is I've been going to school still, and they're like, dude, you can leave. You're fucking, you know, you're in your <laughs> mid twenties. You can leave. You weren't supposed to go the whole time. I used to imagine really scary like shit, looking in the really patterns and stuff as a kid in the dark. I imagine that didn't help with your like you had night terrors, right? Uh, I had nightmares, now, like every kid. I'd better get to work. You didn't have oh, sleep paralysis, is what I mean. I only started getting sleep paralysis when I was in college. Oh, really? And I, I, I noticed that it was only when I slept on my back, so Listen, I haven't slept John, on my back since. I really wonder, I'm curious what the Manson. explanation for that is, like why, just sort of why it would be when you're only in a certain position and after a certain period of time. I think it's something to do with and when you lie on your back, your brain Manson? is like, Oh, you're he going into enemy. sleep mode because you're on I mean, your back. Better release is. those little chemicals. I guess. You know, you can oh, summon actually, the shadowy figure in the mirror if you say, I don't want to have sleep paralysis what anymore three times. <laughs> and then you can face them in combat. <laughs> Chris, do you get Charlie horses horse horse in the middle of the night? I What's that? Uh, leg, like leg cramps? No. Uh, Chris, if you it's could... It's been a while, but so I used to get that. If you could fight the shadowy figure that comes when you're in, you know, dealing with sleep paralysis... Fend them off with a keyblade. <laughs> would you fight them to the death if it would make them permanently leave you for the rest of your existence? That would be cool! Existence? <laughs> would I fight it? Yeah. Like, okay, but, but I... So you're asking me if it's a real thing that's physically there... If you had the option to fight it to the death, 
to make I would it lose. stop haunting you. I would for lose. All eternity. You think so? You think the thing lose? I used to imagine was like ten or twelve feet tall. Really? And would like lean so over the bed. Sweep its leg. No, because he was huge. He would kick my ass. Uh, put what a if you stab him? Put you a bunch of push pins roll? on the floor. The <laughs> he was made out of like black cloaky shit. Leave, yeah, like leave home alone. Traps. Yeah. Because <laughs> you could easily kill him if you set up some booby traps. Did I ever tell you that when I was really young, like six or seven, my grandpa, my granddad. Just saying Your both. Gran. I call him granddad, but Americans will go, what is a granddad? I like, like granddad, I'm, I'm fine with it. I think people would say granddad. But well, my granddad bought me a little silver angel. He's like, that's your guardian angel. I like this story. And he was like, put it on your curtain. And it would look over you. And I was like, yes, good. And then I went and I put it on my curtain. And that night I had one of the worst nightmares I've ever had. And then the next night I had another nightmare. The next night I had another nightmare. And I just kept fucking you. having nightmare after nightmare every My night. Just- and like, and I was like, password. I'm gonna take down this guardian angel and just see what happens. And I did, and Thanks, I stopped John. having nightmares. Then I put it back up, and I had nightmares again, and I took it down, and I never put it back up. I'm I sorry thought, I gave you nightmares, I thought it was giving really, me nightmares. That would be really stressful to know that you're gonna have a nightmare. Yeah, I, there's just like weird psychology. I was a little kid. Maybe your grandpa put like a little speaker on it so when you were asleep it'd start whispering <laughs> he would tell you, you would tell you scary stories while you slept. Someone's bombing us? Yes. I had a dream the other night that someone nuked uh, me while I was in the car. You have those a lot. This is like the yeah, third or fourth time not you've the first brought up nuke dreams. Nuke dreams. I, guess I, I think about nukes a lot. That's pretty cool. I started taking these pills. I got pills from the doctor to help with my back pain, and uh, ever since I started taking them, I'm having crazy dreams. About nukes? Well, that was one of them. I never told it. It's not even that 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 interesting, but Go uh, on. the lucid nightmare. I told you, the Chris. Oh, yeah, you did tell that me that. horrible lucid nightmare that I fucking had. Go on. Uh, I never. It wasn't even sleep paralysis because. Wait, wait, wait. Say, say what it was. It was a little. Not, what? It was, a oh, little, it was, it was a little nightmare too. There you go. It was a little nightmare too, and <sighs> it was this. You know, I have lucid dreams sometimes, but I had a lucid nightmare, and I, and I, and it was like crystal clear HD, and I was laying in my bed, and the uh, decompo a decomposing witch in a white uh, gown was literally floating above my bed, and her <laughs> face was like HD. It was more real than any horror movie <sighs> I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, I was looking at all the horrible details on her face, mm. and I was just staring at her, and she said, oh, I love you. And I was like, that is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life, and then I woke up. That is, she said, I love you? She said, I love you. Love is scary when you don't know But I was what like, dude, this it. horrible demon thing, imagine if you saw the scariest monster you've ever seen, and it said, I love you, like, it's like, what do you want with me? <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. It's uh, what's that leper speed quote? Uh, that is the scariest <laughs> goddamn. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I Shut said. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> you fucking idiot. I think I had a dream last night. Somebody had a rock dropped in their head, and they did what you just did. That's, that, really, that's real. I, like, I've seen that's videos really of scary. that. I suppress that. You ever freak, like remember your dreams like the middle of the of the day the next day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go on, try getting it out. Try get. I don't know if you're gonna put this on television, but try getting it out. <laughs> I love that. Try getting it out. <laughs> You try getting it out of my ass. Try, try pulling it out of my ass. <laughs> what? What's in his ass? A little there's American a, flag. There's a big flag in my ass. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? I had a horrible dream the other night. I told oh, Tomar yeah. about it. Oh, you want to hear my horrible dream? I'm sure, yeah. Okay, I had a dream where uh, in the dream I knew I was in a video game. I just knew for some reason. I was like, I'm in a video game, right? And then this guy just appears. He's like 15 feet tall, right? He just goes like... He just like stands up like, like, like that, right? He screams and he, then he starts stomping around. So I'm like, oh, this guy must be the boss. And he's just like this big, like, big stupid dunderhead and he's wearing a loincloth and he's just this big bald dude, right? And I'm like, oh, I gotta kill this guy. <laughs> so I run over to him and I have a knife and, and I cut I cut the back of his leg and he falls down and he just lies on the ground and he starts going, oh, oh, right? I'm like, oh. And then I, then I, I just start cutting open his legs and his skin like really slowly. <laughs> And I'm just like, this seems too real. And I'm just like cutting into him over and over. He's going, oh, oh, right. And I was like, what, what the fuck? And I cut into his leg like 50 or like, like so many times to the point where he's just lying there screaming. And I was like, I, I, this doesn't feel right. 
So then I go and find like an NPC and I'm like, uh, yeah, can I get, can I get a gun? I need to put something out of its misery. And the guy's like, no, you can't do that. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so then this guy's just screaming and he's I just- I thought you said they just don't have guns in yeah, the yeah, world. Yeah, that was it. They just don't have guns. They don't have guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, and also then this guy who appeared, he didn't do anything. He just appeared and went, ah, started stomping <laughs> around and he died horribly for it. I had a fever dream <laughs> when, when I had the stomach flu that because there was an animation job that I was behind on and I couldn't work on because of the stomach flu. Uh, and so I had a, I had a fever dream that I was an animator on the, my little pony cartoon, the, the new one that everybody loved. And so I woke up. I woke up from the dream, and I went, No more ponies, no! <laughs> Did I tell you about how my sister talks in her sleep? Tell us, Chris. She sounds like the exorcist. She goes like... <laughs> it's really scary. You and she, should hear Julian in his sleep. She, she grinds what have teeth. I said? The, the one I remember was that you were saying, like, oh, so You gotta get the Christmas tree up. <laughs> and then the, the one that I remember that was really weird to me was that you said the bonsai tree, he cut it down. Oh yeah, and I was talking, about, talking Kappa. about fucking Kappa Mikey. I was Mikey. talking about Kappa Mikey. <laughs> we watched an episode of Kappa Mikey, which by the way is fucking terrible. Yeah, it's an awful show. Not it even, is like, so Not bad. even funny bad. It is unbelievably it's really, bad. really hard to sit through. What is Kappa Mikey? It was a, it was a terrible, terrible uh, Nicktoons exclusive show. Oh. And the premise, I like the premise, but they did absolutely nothing it with it. It doesn't look like what it's supposed to be either. The it's premise supposed to be is, an American cartoon yeah, that goes to Japan. Yeah, so he like, it's an American cartoon, interacts with anime characters, and they never take any advantage of that oh. premise. And it doesn't look like it either. It's not, it doesn't look like anime no. because it's like it doesn't shitty look like Flash a animators. Cartoon either. It looks like a Canadian cartoon, if anything. Yeah. And you were just, you were mumbling about how he cut down the bonsai tree. <laughs> I couldn't believe that this is what you're dreaming about. I don't know why. But the other one, you said you were on a, a train, and you were mentioning how there was Christmas lights hung up. Well, okay then. <laughs> My sister did really fucking weird shit in her sleep. We were in Spain, as kids, and she got out of bed, just sleepwalking, and she, she ran down the hall to a fire escape door. Which is pretty much just a door that leads to nothing, and you fall out of it and die. And she opened it, and my dad grabbed her and shook her awake. <laughs> and another time she pulled me out of bed and like, stomped me on the floor and got into my bed. Though she might have just been awake and pretending to be asleep. Yeah, she, she said, shut up, turd. <laughs> Can I, oh, did I tell you about the dream I had? Oh yeah, tell us. It, it was really scary. Please, Chris. I woke up and I almost screamed in fear. <laughs> <laughs> what did you dream about? It not. wasn't even that scary. It was just how the dream was. It was really weird. That's I, how they that's how they always work. Yeah. I, I dreamt that there was this like weird crispy alien meat <laughs> crispy. That, that was latching on to people. Oh no. And it was eating them. And while it eat them, it made their legs wiggle around really fast and it freaked me out. <laughs> And then I was trapped in a building with a bunch of people that were really annoying. And then we were all looking down That's at That's the people. worst part. We were looking down at floods and floods of people on the street and their legs were all wriggling really fast. <laughs> we were like, oh, they got more of them. <laughs> it sounds like an awesome dream. It was horrible. The alien meat was so fucking scary. It was like making their faces go all crispy and scully and... <laughs> I mean crispy. <laughs> they were, it like was, crispy, it was like it's fried. Yeah, it was like it was frying their faces. So and... they put breadcrumbs on them? No, it wasn't like crispy chicken. <laughs> Just like the uh, curry we made today. We made really good curry. Imagine a burn victim, that's what it looked like, except they were more skeletal. Skeletal? Yeah. Chris, what did you think of the curry we made you? It was really nice. What, is it as good as, good as the crispy people? No. <laughs> I, sw I swear to God. Ah! Think if you oh my God. <laughs> I think I had that dream. <laughs> I think I had that dream because I bought a bronze statue of an angel. Oh. <laughs> it cursed you. Yeah, it's cursed. You know, was it? Wait, wasn't that an Earthbound when he has the bad dream? Yeah. And there's a, the gold statue in it. No, can I, can I get, this is a true story. When I was younger, my granddad, he bought me a little tiny guardian angel pen to stick on my curtain. And he said, that'll watch over you. And I was like, okay, thank you. And it, I had nightmares every night, and then I was like, I only started having nightmares since I got this thing, and then I, I put it in a different room and I stopped having nightmares. Have you ever screamed in, in your sleep? Yes. <laughs> Good. I've, uh, I, I don't know whether it's a, a scream in real life, but I've like, tried to scream in a dream and then it wakes me up. Yeah. To... To the point that I feel like I screamed, but I don't know if I He's actually mumbled did. in the sleep. I could see it just being like, uh, Like... Just like a grunt or something. I have a lot of dreams where I drown and wake up like, <gasps> like that. That sounds pretty stressful. No, it's cool.
I have what does it for me more often than not is not like some like a death or anything that wakes me up. It's usually I trip and fall and like preparing for the impact of hitting the ground is what makes wakes me up. Are we in the hizzy? <laughs> I had a horrible dream recently. It was like probably the worst dream I've had in like 15 years. Do tell that sounds Someone fun. Someone asked me if I was in the hizzy. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> no, I dreamt that uh, I was walking alone okay. somewhere, and this oh, guy followed me, and he pushed me down, and he stabbed me in the groin with a knife over and over, and I felt the pain, and I woke up from the pain. I was like, ah! It was like I was like sweating and shit. And it was just wench munching on you. Like it was wench sucking my cock. <laughs> and it hurt like you got stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the classic dog wakes you up pleasuring you. <laughs> Every movie has that. Did I tell you I had a dream? I had a really weird dream. Uh, about Persia? I had a dream that uh, I, I was going on a trip, and for some reason I picked Persia, and I was really excited about Chris, going. I don't think that country has got that Persia. I know. <laughs> That's, no, this this dream is psycho. I don't understand what. The, I Wait, don't what understand do what. Okay, listen. This is the dream. Okay. Me and my friend Jack, right in the dream, I was like, dude, I can't wait to go on holiday to Persia. I've waited my whole life for this. I've never thought about Persia before this dream, right? I, I've just heard the word. We had we had one fucking bowl of lentil soup at a Persian restaurant. And suddenly, you want to go to no, Persia? That was recently. This, this I had this dream like years ago. What right? is happening? But dude? it's the weirdest dream I ever had. Where I was like, can't wait to go to Persia. Then I'm in the plane, right? But then our plane like crash landed, and it crash landed in like this perfect like oasis with like a purple sky and like beautiful like ocean and cliffs. That sounds really nice. Purple sky is scary. Yeah, and I was like, this must be Persia. This place is beautiful. And I just loved it. It was like, the, sky it's my away. favorite that place <laughs> I've ever been in a dream before. That is the weirdest story you've ever told me. I know, and whenever I think of Persia, I think of my weird, like, purple sky, like, ocean, like, beach with place. The... With cliffs everywhere. Did, did you, like, read up? Did you, like, watch a no, video before you went to bed? I have no fucking idea why I had a dream where I wanted to go to Persia. Maybe you should go to, uh, Iran. Alright, I know what to do Chris, now. Chris, what if, what if you like, figured what if you it like out. a GoFundMe? I figured, I figured out what to do. Bring Chris to Iran? Yeah. I mean, you send him there. That brings sense. Uh, send Chris to Iran to speak with the ambassador in the purple sky, and I can hand him a hard drive with only plays on Dude, it. Dude, that's bullshit. Say, pick out your favorite episode. <laughs> <laughs> I have really yeah. weird recurring dreams. One of them is that I own a, a giant like skyscraper, but on the inside, uh, there's no windows and it's all black, <laughs> and it's just like it's like a, a towering attic. It's like that. That's got to be like a subconscious like uh, fear of. Some, I don't know. I don't think it's a fear because it's never scary. That dream is always just about like, wow, I own this entire building, but the inside is just like a giant towering attic with nothing in it. Are, just, you, are you happy in the dream that yeah, you got? Yeah, I'm just climbing it and you exploring it and your having fun. Mansion, oh, you're saying like... I thought you meant like a giant. I thought I thought you meant like you like felt like you wasted your money in the dream. It was like, oh, I bought a I bought no, a giant no, thing. No, it's like I own it for some reason. And then there's it's another like, it's dream. It's like Chris Tower. I have another dream that I've had like multiple times where uh, I'm in my grandmother's house, and uh, for some reason there's there's one room in the house that's extremely extremely evil and haunted. It's just one room. And, and, and nothing even happens in the dream. I just always walk into the room and I go, something feels very wrong. Something's bad in here. And it's like I get super scared in the dream and I wake up like sweating. Okay, I have a, I have a, gen I have a genuine question. Yeah. Dr uh, do you guys, do you, how often you do you it. dream? Yeah. Uh, very rarely. Yeah, I, like, I, I can't. I, I know you dream every night, but I don't remember my dreams I ever. I, I think the reason some people don't remember their dreams is because uh, you wake up. Uh, hours after having them, and then well, if you use weed, it, it definitely like inhibits your ability. I mean, to like dream. some we were watching Chucky not long ago. That's yeah, another no. movie I haven't seen in a hundred years. Dude, I had never seen those ever. I always thought it would be kind of gay, but it was no, actually no, pretty no, cool no. watching it with you. As a kid, Chucky scared the fuck out of me because if nobody knows, I'm I was terrified of blinking dolls as a child. <laughs> so <laughs> see, blinking? why do you mean blinking? Like dolls that blink. You why, know why blinking? Why? What? what? I, I don't know. It's an. It, it's one of those phobias that people have that they can't really explain. Okay, that's fair. It's just uncanny when a doll blinks and yeah. you don't do anything. Yeah. The idea of that is scary. Like I remember one time I was grounded and I was in my room mm. and there was my sister's doll was on a chair and I was looking at it and the whole time I was like, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink in my mind, and then it fucking blinked thirty minutes later. <laughs> And it, it, it blinked. It like You're blinked. Up. And it, I remember that, and I couldn't say anything. I couldn't scream. I was so scared. But I'm, I know that was just my brain playing tricks on me because I was thinking that it Were was. Were you blink. in the dark? Like the dead of the dark? Yeah, it was dark. dark. No, no. My eyes play tricks on me in the dark, too. Yeah, it was yeah. dark, and the light was shining on its fucking stupid face. Yeah. And I could see it. 
It was like something out of a horror movie Wait. where the light only shined on a dumbass weird face. Is this like sleep paralysis or something? No, no, I was awake. <clears throat> I was leaning on my bed looking at it, hoping it didn't blink. <laughs> and then it just blinked. Just sitting there. It blinked? What? It blinked. The doll blinked in your room. No, yes. I, 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 he's saying he thinks it was like uh, an illusion or I, I, that he I'm imagined I'm pretty sure my something. brain, like, oh. Because it's one of those things where it's like, it's happened before where I was laying in bed, like, recently a neighbor died at my mom's house. Yeah. And I was and thinking, went into the doll. no, 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 he used to walk by our house all the time. So I, I would be used to seeing a shadow when he'd come by to like get the lawnmower. Mm. And he did that like constantly. So he died a day before he usually got the lawnmower. Oh. So the next day when I was asleep at night, I remember what a shadow looked like. I was like, man, I'd be so terrified if a shadow walked by my fucking, <clears throat> my like vividly lit up room yeah and a shadow walked by my fucking That's room scary. right when i thought that That's and scary. i ran outside because i was like i was just i was almost in like panic this i was couldn't recent? believe what i saw no this was like 10 years ago oh okay and this is your brain going insane yeah it was dude your brain can do a lot of scary shit if you're like if you're constantly like i don't want to see anything i don't want to see anything you're gonna fucking see something yeah because you put your brain on it do you ever have something like where you like i have a chair in my <laughs> in my bedroom yeah, and yeah. There's, like there's a shirt hanging over the mm. side of it and I always wake up in the corner of my eye, it always looks like a person, it freaks me the fuck oh, out. That fucking like, sucks all, so like, bad. Every, I don't move this shirt and it happens every morning. I think there's someone look, standing over me. That's happened with like a coat rack, definitely. <laughs> with like weird like like raincoats and yeah. shit really give off weird illusion. Because when I used to have my room in the main like foyer entrance when you come into like my mom's house, my the room fuck? used to be right there and there was a coat rack. <laughs> what did you just do? He put a walket in his pocket. Wow. A wall walket. <laughs> No, but when, uh, Corey, oh, when I was younger, that shit used to happen to me, too, where, uh, my grandma had this weird, uh, blue painting of, like, a, an old Irish lane with a mansion at the end and, like, little people on horses at the, yes. at the bottom, and I used to just look at it, and they'd be, like, walking around and, like, moving, and the trees would be swaying, and it would just be, like, scary. Yeah, but at night, like, yeah. it's because shadows, any kind of shadow that's, like, moving creates, like, the illusion that it's, like, it's, your brain... That's why when people say, like, I saw shadows at night when I was in a place alone with no one else there and only me and my fucking self. <laughs> it's like, yeah, of course you saw a fucking shadow walking by you unsuspicious. You want to hear something else that's kind of funny? Yeah. One night when I was really young, I had to sleep in my mom and dad's bedroom and uh, they had a, oh, a no. sim. They had a, they had a, no, they're not, they didn't fuck or nothing, but they had a similar. They <laughs> fucked next to you. <laughs> you went, oh no, here we go. And they were like, Chris, stop <laughs> making so much noise. No, no, noise. shut and up. They, 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 you. <laughs> they had a. They had a similar painting on their wall that was like a weird, like old timey painting, and I, I would look at it and I would see little things move, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'd look over at my dad, who was also like just awake in bed, and he'd look over at me, and then look back at the painting, and there'd be little moving guys look back at him, and he'd look back at me, and, <laughs> what? I, and I was just like, wow, he knows what he's know he, he sees it too, he knows what's going on. And then in the morning, I'd be like, Dad, remember those little moving things? He was like, No, you were just freaking me out. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the little moving guys, they say, shut up. No, those little moving guys are fucking assholes. I mean, we, we talked about this before. We talked about, like, sleep paralysis. Like, I haven't had a sleep paralysis in quite a long time. Yeah. Oh. But I I have seen, like, at my old dad's house, when we used to live um, somewhere. I don't know where the fuck. It wasn't Vermont, but it was maybe somewhere in Iowa. Ooh, um, we Iowa. I used to live next to a playground. Yeah. So we saw shadows a lot. Because we didn't live next to a playground. Like, right across the street was a playground. Right. And, um, I remember I used to see, like, people on the, the ceiling just dancing, just spinning around. Just <laughs> shadows, just dancing. That's scary. I recently just made, uh, my sleep paralysis demon in Blender. Really? What? Yeah. I so I didn't forget it. Oh, shit. That's Here, awesome. Here, it's on screen right now. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Why do you put that on when we're playing game, Chris? I'm sorry. Jeff smiled when he saw it. <laughs> a little bit. His little, his little boner trickled around. 